even if these are electoral, even if these are early days uh, and postal ballots, if you look at Jammu and Kashmir, the BJP at this stage appears to be significantly ahead. So if this is a reflection of the mood of, let's say, the armed forces or of government workers, right, then it does indicate some sort of a, some sort of a sense that they may be impressed by what the BJP has to offer. Actually, uh, as far as I can see, these trends are only from 33 of the 90 seats in Jammu and Kashmir. They are not from all the 90 seats. And they are from which region is also a question because, you know, hmm. there is that uh, division where the Congress was strong and there are some seats, of course, where the Bharti Janta Party was strong. And as far as the Congress goes, we never say that there should be a BJP Mukh Bharat. Right. We say that the democracy should be strengthened and both the ideologies should strive and fight. It is the other end who wants a Congress Mukbarat. The Congress always wants the democracy to be strengthened. And that is why, be it the polling day, be it the result day, the Congress celebrates the people's verdict in every way. All right. Right. Uh, going across to uh, Sajjan, you know, when you look at uh, the JNK strategy of BJP, what is the biggest takeaway? Because, you know, if you look at 2024 Lok Sabha elections, both Omar Abdullah and Mehbooba Mufti lost. And Mehbooba Mufti lost by a huge margin. So clearly, this election was also about other people in the fray. Uh, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the contrast between the Haryana and Jammu is clear. I mean, independence as a factor is very central uh, kind of variable in Jammu and Kashmir. While in Haryana, you see, it's almost a bipolar, even if the uh, many parties are there. So, in Jammu, BJP's strategy would be clear that consolidated their base into the Jammu region and divide, you know, the valley region. That would be their clear strategy. And for that, uh, they would expect that PDP should do bit better should cut a certain votes and independents like Indian Rashid to others should do it because in the final analysis but for Kashmir do you think they'll have a, they'll have a strategy like you know uh, banking on someone like the uh, Muzaffar Beg or somebody like that you know somebody who comes from the Pahadi community a community that uh, you know owes gratitude for the BJP for getting their uh, ST status do you think that could be a strategy uh, you know from the BJP side that is but but I think the numerical strength is too less and the number of seats okay. will be so maximum it would be that uh, NC and Congress Alliance doesn't get a clear majority on their own and in that case mind it mathematically the most easier equation is NC and BJP coming together which mm -hmm. chemistry wise won't happen but that's I the easiest yeah. numbers if yeah. two of I them just... decides to come together. Yeah.